Like many businesses, Columbia Regional Airport is also feeling the impacts of COVID-19. The city is currently working to find out how much traffic and revenue will be lost because of the virus. ABC 17 Sydney Olson is live at COU. Sydney, the city is expecting numbers from the airlines any day now, which will give them a taste of Lucas, those numbers will give the city an idea of how much revenue will be lost as well. I spoke with city spokesman Steve Sapp today to learn how this downfall will impact projects here at the airport and how the city plans to recover. The terminal at COU remains open, but the city says from the somewhat empty parking lot and lack of foot traffic through the terminal, it can tell business is down. How long this will go? We don't know. The city has not laid off any airport employees, and Sapp says he does not see that happening since there's always maintenance and other work to be done. City staff is working to figure out how it can make up some of the lost revenue through budgeting and federal assistance through programs like the CARES Act. There are some programs that we can take advantage of that uh, have some reimbursement for lost passenger facility charges uh, and some other revenues. Projects at COU will continue as well. We're still moving forward with runway 220 extension. Uh, the contractor is uh, finishing up Route H uh, right now, so within the next um, a week or two, we should see that project completed and uh, that roadway fully reopened. Last night, City Council gave approval for the airport to move forward with its plans to build a new terminal, and the city still expects it to open in early 2022. In February, COU received a grant for $800,000 to add flights to Charlotte Douglas International Airport. That project will be pushed back, but the deadline for the grant has been extended. The airport has also installed hand sanitizer, dispensers, and signs to remind people to practice social distancing while they travel during the spread of COVID-19. Reporting live at Columbia Regional Airport, Sydney Olson, ABC 17 News. All right, Sydney, thank you. SAP says the city has put a freeze on hires unless they are essential and is only spending money on essential needs in an effort to save money during COVID-19.